It's not a new idea, but what's behind me at Ellis Park is a popular one. The city leases this land to whoever's willing to put in the time and the effort. And we found out today that people are growing more than just fresh produce. From the little ladies to the ladybugs, everyone is in the garden on a sunny Cedar Rapids day. Spinach, tomatoes, cabbage. But Chimi Ferdinand says the hard work his family's putting in now will pay off later. A few plots down, Willie Richard is getting his garden ready. And I tell you what, it, it saves on the money. This large area of land in Ellis Park is divided by the city into small plots and leased by the season. It's $21 per plot with a $4 lease fee. You were starting around the whole May. And alongside individual plots, we found friendships grow here as well. Fellowship garden, what they call it. Whatever somebody needs, we help, we help others too if they need it. You can grow just about anything. Eggplants. And come as often as you'd like. When my wife comes out, I plant, she picks. That's a good deal. But sometimes she'll ask me to pick too. <laughs> it can be a family affair. So, yeah. It even helps you get back to your roots. I was doing this from in Africa, you know. It's kind of to remember what my party was doing in Africa, so I have to keep doing it. For traditions that still grow, or fruits of the labor that are shared. There's a lot of life in these gardens, and hopefully their bounties will be plentiful for years to come. The city has these plots here at Ellis, also at Squaw Creek and Tuma. They only have two left here, though, so if you'd like one, you need to act quickly. We put the information on our website. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Joy Howe, CBS2 News.